Hi folks, I'm Stephen Crony. Thanks for joining me again. Many thanks to all the patrons at patreon.com slash Stephen Crony. And today I've got a simple little limited palette winter scene for you. So let me show the colours I've used. I'll just use the three colours for this. We've got Ultramarine, Raw Sienna and Burnt Umber. Brush is mostly done with a large height brush. And then I've got the little, got the quarter inch flat. That's a different one. This is a sword liner. Small sword line that was for the tree. There's a the quarter inch flat, and then uh, don't do what I'm doing here, just leave your brushes in there like because you get them all bent like that. But that's the number three rigger, right? Then, just a little bit of water, and then let's get a bit of burnt umber, some different. And then a bit more blue on this side. Almost that wintry look. A little bit of water. Just blend some of this together. Bring this down to the hills. Right then, now the hills were right up quite pretty high. Something like that. There's a few more on that side, but keeping them slightly lower. <coughs> um, again, just a bit of soft. Softness on there, just to blend it all together. Now what I want is a stronger, stronger mix because just about there is where I'm going to pop. I'm going to draw it now actually. Not bone dry but just dry air just so that this goes on a bit stronger. Just here. Coming up like that, flick it up. And we got a big egg scooting in there. Still quite wet, so I gotta be careful. Got a flat one going in there, different shape. Um I'm put one there as well. And I'll just come back to those in a minute. Just a little bit of scraping just to start it off with. Come back to that. Just take a little bit of oh, see that I just flick that up, something like so. <coughs> if I just take the rigger brush, and let's just suggest a few, a few trees and things growing. Amongst all this, and have some another tree over there, I think. one in front of there. So, so a few lines and marks and things. I don't know what they are, could be anything. These ones are definitely a few little fence posts. Let's pop a few along there as well. Just general little bits of detail. <coughs>
just wondering whether to soften that a little bit or do I like the, the strength of it? I might just leave it actually. Come up a little bit stronger than I was expecting, but not to worry. Um, Ultramarine. I just want to sneeze. Be a little bit stronger. A few little random details going on. Let's just have some more. Back to the Riga brush. And again, I'm going to pop in a few more little trees and things going. I'm going to go with. You can't resist. There's some about telegraph poles, I don't know what it is. Have that little bit of interest, I think, and then just didn't quite come out how I was expecting actually those things. Um, Darker, a little bit darker down there. Man trudging up the hill. I'm putting a little dog behind him this time. Little dog behind him. Right now, let's give that a quick dry. come some shadows put some shadows in coming from the left in a minute so before I do that so I'm gonna just gonna mark these down I think as, as dark sections so everything on the right yeah sort of 3d look few windows and things on there. No one if it needs a chimney. Mm, not keen on that, too dark. That's, that's better. Too strong that was. Um, big shadows. Bit of everything, but plenty of blue. Um, I should have done that a little bit lighter now because it's going to clash with the shadow in it. Um, or is it, it just cut straight across like that? If 
I'll just dry that first. I'm switch to the sword liner now. Take a bit of brown, a bit of blue. I'm just going to pop something in there just to. I think I'm almost done, so all I'm going to do is pop some birds in the sky. And I'm just going to sign this and then pop a mount on it and just see what it looks like. So let's do that. What I did, I just realised I ain't done the shadows in these posts, have I? So if I just take some of that shadow colour off the palette, and we're just sort of, we're just sort of going just off each one. Anything else need a shadow? I think that's it. So right, let's stick that mount on and see what it looks like. So here's the finished paint in the mount. So if we can have a closer look at it. Got a very simple sky, a little bit of raw sienna, ultramarine and burnt umber, but very, very light, deliberately lightened it and brought it down so that the hills stood out. But you see how soft they are because the paper was still wet. Nice and soft hills and then coming down into this middle ground we've got the harder, stronger toned trees and bushes there that I've scraped these buildings into. And then just lots of rigor work to scrape all these little dark marks. Not always sure what they are, fence posts and all sorts of stuff lying around, bits of wooden things. Um, just adds, just generates interest really, just lots of marks, just random, randomly put on. Um, telegraph poles as well, all just little bits of added interest. Brushed in this path that leads up to our little man and his little dog behind him, having a nice stroll through the snow. Use the sword liner just to simply put in the foreground tree here. And then what was originally shadowed, I'm looking at it now, it looks like a, it looks like water, like a reflection of the sky. It's just a shame that it it sort of um, clashes with this. If that path wasn't there, I think I'd get away with that looking like a lake or something, but it's meant to be a shadow. But I'd, I'll let you decide what you think it is. So it looks complicated, but it's not, it's not as complicated as it looks. all this little detail here. So I hope you enjoy that. Many thanks um, for watching. Many thanks to all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crone. I hope you get a chance to join me over there. Um, in the meantime, keep practicing. If 
anyone's got any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.